you got. Our first guest tonight is, uh, our first guest is uh, this year's Miss Universe, who uh, entered the title as Miss uh, Trinidad Tobago and won the title from, I think, contestants from 80 countries who were in the contest this year. And we thought you might like to meet her. She's a very, very pretty young lady. Her name is Janelle Comasson, Miss Universe 1977. <laughs> First of all, congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, did you hear Ed and I talking about we had both? A bit. Yeah. Not too much. He said also that he had picked you at the beginning of the contest, and I really did. Oh, I thought you said your wife did. Well, he said my wife did. <laughs> uh, he just didn't want me to have all of the, uh, all of it. How are you? Fine. Somebody said that you just got in town, or you got lost on the freeway? Yes, uh... for two hours. <laughs> two <laughs> which, hours. Which, I'm sorry. You flew in from where today? From New York. From New York. Mm -hmm. You came out to our wonderful airport and got in a car, and, and what happened? The driver just freeways for two hours. Where did you go? Do you know? Have any idea where you no, were? No, but I saw the Hollywood freeway at least ten times. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know this, Janelle, but we have people who've been on the freeway for ten, twelve years and are just going around, <laughs> uh, going around on clover leaves and uh, have raised a family and been very happy. <laughs> they can never get off. Is this your first trip out here? No, it's about my fifth. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I've been here for the past four years, maybe once a year, yeah. twice a year. I read a brief uh, thing in the paper where... Um, you kind of entered the contest, not particularly that you'd been looking forward to it, but you'd, I don't know, you never know when you read the press whether they're true or not, that you'd seen a picture of a contestant from right. last year and says, oh, I'll give it a shot. Right, that's just exactly how it happened. Really? Mm-hmm. But you hadn't, since you were a little girl, said, gee, I want to be Miss Universe or something. Well, I think it's something every young girl fantasizes about, yeah. but the strange thing is being in New York and looking at the show every year, I never thought that I would ever be participating mm -hmm. in it. It just seemed like fantasy. You know, the, a lot of people put down uh, the, the beauty contest, whether it's Miss America or Miss Universe or Miss mm -hmm. So-and-So, but they get the biggest ratings, practically, of any shows that are presented in this country every single year. They do. But I understand from Trinidad, they didn't even carry it in, in television in Trinidad, right? No, I think they ran it Monday night, this Monday after night. It was, after mm -hmm. everybody knew that you'd right. won it. Now, your folks, I understand, currently live in New York City. Yes, they do. So, so they looked at the show live. Ah, uh, so did they phone you right afterwards? <laughs> they certainly did. Yeah. My favorite part of the show, outside of watching you gals, is Bob Barker interviewing the girls who don't speak English. <laughs> uh, Bob does a wonderful job. He really does. But Bob learns just enough uh, of the language to get himself in hot water. You know, and the poor girl will come up from uh, Puerto Rico or Spain or something, and Bob will, como esta usted? Adonde vivo usted? And then he tries to get something out of them, and when the girl walked away after this conversation and went nowhere, Bob says, adios. And I fell right, <laughs> a, I fell right out of the chair. That... Uh, <laughs> How long are you down there? Somebody told me now. I want to ask you about this. Uh, the, as soon as you get in Santa Domingo, mm -hmm. all of the girls, I assume, are met by a chaperone. Right. I suppose a, a local lady that has been assigned right. to mm -hmm. look after you. And from that moment that you arrive there, all during the couple of weeks that you spend there, you're not out of their sight. You can't meet anybody else. You are told where to go, when to go, so forth. There's certain well, regulations. Well, in the beginning, that's the way it is. You're like married to each other. Yeah. The chaperone really doesn't let you out of her sight. But I think after the first week, she starts to trust you and you can, yeah. you know, have dinner with other girls. And yeah. she sort of lets you out of her sight for a while. Yeah. I always wonder what they think you're going to do. Run off and disappear <laughs> or, get, or get married or something like that. Um, you were also voted Miss Photogenic. Yes, I was. And I can see why. <laughs> Thank you. Do you get tired all the time with the photographer saying, now, let's give, it, give us a big smile, until you just sometimes through your teeth want to say, I can't mm, take any more no, of this? No, not really. Now I'm getting used to it. I just really? smile automatically. Really? Mm -hmm. you got a beautiful smile. Thank you. Do you have a model at all? No. Really? Somebody said you went to, uh, in New York, attend a school for a couple to, of years. Yes, Fashion Institute of Technology, and I studied merchandising. <clears throat> yeah. Is that what you'd like to do? Yes, well, I worked as a buyer in New York for three years, and Super. when I moved back to Trinidad, it was to open my own boutique. And did you? I was in the process, and then I got involved in the show. Are you glad you got involved in the show? Sure. Now, as I understand, I don't know what happens uh, in these contests. You were interviewed, obviously, by the judges during the week that you're there, individually, right? You have... Right. What kind of questions do they ask you? What, what are they allowed to ask you? What are they not allowed to ask well, you? Well, it's really not an interview. It's yeah. basically a little chat. They yeah. want to get to know more about you, your personality, you yeah. know, how you feel about the contest. And a question they always ask is, do you want to be Miss Universe? This seems like an obvious question, otherwise <laughs> you think. wouldn't be there, right? Mm -hmm. Do but they ask more... you why you want to be Miss Universe? 
Um, some do. Right. Some do. But it's more a little chat between the judge and yourself, as right. opposed to question and answer. Right. So you said you have to do this more than one judge, or...? Yes, you have to go to all 12 judges. All well, what, 12. All, what do they ask different than the other judge, for example? Most of them ask the same, same things. Same questions? Same things. Doesn't that become a little tiresome, answering the same question? Yes, but you get good at answering them after a while. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a question they, uh, they might not have asked you, because you've probably been asked every question since you've won this contest uh, in, in the world, right? And you think of something that you would like to say that you haven't been asked? No, I think the reporters have covered just covered about everything. Everything, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Even things that I wouldn't like to answer, they've asked. Like what? Well, uh, <laughs> this is what I'm looking for. This kind of stuff. Uh. <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't put. I wouldn't embarrass okay. you or anything. But what? No, I had one. What kind reporter. of questions don't you like to ask, and then you don't have to? You don't have to answer. No, one guy asked me something in reference to was it premarital sex? I think, and that was the morning after I was crowned. I mean, no, that's a little personal, isn't it? I think so. <laughs> no, no, no. How about postmarital sex? <laughs> that seems to be the problem. There seems to be no problem with premarital sex. <laughs> I'm just kidding, honey. That's uh, no, no. Look. <laughs> Joanna, my love, a little humor. This is the way I make my living, and uh, sometimes we have to pay in both ends for this job. <laughs> think, that, think that covers me at home all right? No, no, no it's, it's no. too easy a joke, and I, I shouldn't have said that. You, um, well, this may be too personal, too, and you don't have to answer it, you know. Do I pronounce your name right, you know? Yes. Do you, you have a, a current boyfriend, or...? Yes. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> How does he feel? A lot of fellows would kind of be jealous because now there are going to be a lot of demands on your time. You're mm -hmm. going to be traveling all over the world. You're going to be meeting a lot of interesting, charming, provocative people. And, uh... <laughs> and, uh, he, you know, he could... Uh, is he jealous? Um, Did he he's say... very happy for me and excited, That's but nice. I think he's beginning to get a bit jealous and... That can yeah. happen. Um, now, for this, for Miss Universe, you get a cash prize. Yes. A scholarship, I understand. Mm -hmm. A and cash you, scholarship. Cash scholarship. Mm -hmm. And you travel for uh, the entire year. You travel for a year, right? Mm -hmm. You, you looking forward to that? Yes, very much. Yeah. Where are you off to first? Do they, do they um, have a whole schedule kind of set out? Well, I think we... I have a schedule until the second week of September. Mm -hmm. I go to Toronto on Friday. Right. Then to Trinidad, which I'm looking forward to. I'll bet. And um, then back to Texas, then Colombia, Venezuela. Now, when you're in the contest, I wonder if you're like other, the other people sitting at home. Do you kind of sit and, and look around at the other girls and say, I wonder who's going to be in the finalists? No. You never, never no. do? Or say, it might be me, or uh, obviously you're hoping that you're going right. to be in No, well, I had about seven girls that didn't make the 12 that I picked. I thought they would make it. And they didn't make it? They did. Seven well, they did out of the 12, yeah. Well, that's very good, because you get to know them there, don't you? Mm-hmm. Is there, now this is a, as a personal question again, I hope you'll uh, uh, forgive me. But the contest is based on a beauty, face, figure, personality, poison, right. etc., and, and able to handle yourself in the situation. Is there any way that a girl could uh, uh, fake her physical... Uh, um, <laughs> well, you know, could look healthier than she, uh, say, <laughs> than she, say, is? It's an interesting question. A lot of people have wondered about that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm, nobody except me, I guess, has wondered about it. <laughs> Come, I don't know why I'm laying this question off from everybody else, but I just wondered if, you know... If it's, well, it's not allowed. It's stated in, you know, the... Is that is one of the things in the manuals? It's not allowed, right. But I'm, I guess it's possible. I suppose you could. You but could. I, I don't imagine anybody would, really. Yeah. <laughs> Do they give you a whole manual of do's and don'ts? Yes, before we entered... Before we got to Santo Domingo... What are some of the don'ts manual. outside of that one? Don'ts, where well, you're not allowed to drink alcohol. Only light wines and champagnes if any. Um, you're not allowed to really have company, like to go out with other people. Right. Um, you're not allowed to go outside the hotel at all. Mm. What else? The reason I ask this is because I remember I emceed one Miss Universe contest mm -hmm. once. I think it was 1961 in Miami. And you were right, the girls are very well behaved and there is no drinking. Right. The only time, uh, so it's when they announced the losers. <laughs> And the losers know before the end of the night is over that they are not one of the finalists. And it gets a little, as you say, there's a little wine and champagne drunk by some of the losers after it was over. And they discuss a lot of the other girls. They, they discuss, you said? They discussed some of the other girls in the contest. 
Did you hear, hear any of that at all? I mean, any of the girls? Mm, no, not really. Yeah. No. I mean, nobody was catty during the entire contest? Yeah, well, I think you have that when you get a bunch of women together anyway. Yeah. But nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you got a point. Men, too, I suppose. No, nothing out of the ordinary. What happened? Somebody told me a story about your sash. You were supposed to do a production number and you forgot oh, the sash or no, couldn't I take it? I didn't really forget it. Um, this was the number that the girls did while the 12 semifinalists were changing into their gowns. Right. So we all got our dresses and there was a sash to go with it. And I just didn't take it because I had a feeling I was going to make the 12 semifinalists, so I wouldn't need it. Now that's nice. You see, that's confidence. Right. Hey, you're a very lovely young lady and we're glad you could stop here. You're going to have a very busy year. And I'm sorry that you got lost here in, it's okay. in the Hollywood Freeway, but... If you come back, at least you know where the Hollywood Freeway is. Right. Huh? Hey, have a, have a nice year, will you? Thank you very and much. And thank you, Janelle, very much thank for being you. with us. Thank Good luck. That's a pretty young lady. Mm -hmm. She really is, and she handles herself so well. You she know, that's, that's tough to go out, you know, win a contest like that and be in front of millions of people. It sounds so, it looks so simple. When you sit at home and the girls walk out and they ask them just simple little questions. You know as well as I do, the first time you appear in front of an audience, of literally, now they have about 120 million people watching that show. That can be very grim. And that walk, after hmm? you win, walk out and view your subjects. That's not easy. We'll never know. Well, you walk out here every night when I announce you. You walk out to your store. I don't come with a crown and a scepter in, in, in my... In my but and you leave swim it in the dressing room. In the swimsuit. Mm. Of course I leave it in the dressing room. <laughs> to tell everybody. I don't come out in my swimsuit. We have Charles Nelson O'Reilly, Norm Crosby, and Evelyn Keyes with us tonight. So stay right where you are. We'll be back in a minute. <laughs> 